Hi there lovely people, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in today. For those who are joining us for the first time, you're most welcome. My name is Adlaik and I talk about la different lifestyle issues. And at this point of my life, I'm getting a little bit passionate about dating. So today we're going to be talking about things I learned about online dating in Australia. And well, before I got married, I had a fair bit of playing around with the dating apps. And some of the dating apps I've used is Bumble. I quite like it because the girl has to make the first move. So if you're confident, at least you can use Bumble to make the first move. There's also Tinder, but I know now Tinder has a bad rep for just being a hookup site. I particularly liked uh, Bumble. Uh, I also really liked Zook and I think eHarmony. They are quite good. So there are so many dating sites, but and sometimes it can be, get so confusing on how to go about your dating or online dating experience. So today I'm going to be sharing things that I learned. And the first one is that the competition is so high. So can you imagine in a world whereby a guy has so many girls it's like a whole catalog of girls to choose from so it's crazy so you have to really put your best foot forward and this is just based on your photo they get to judge you based on your photo so make sure you have a photo that you look so so bomb i've noticed most of the popular girls are the ones that are showing their personality in their photos so you either if you're bubbly make sure you're laughing if you like nature you're out there in nature and just bring out your best personality with the photo because unfortunately whether we like it or not we are being judged on our photo the second thing is one that you probably are all going to agree with me is because there are so many frogs you're going to kiss or probably be with so many bad guys you're going to go through so many bad dates so many heartbreaks before you get the one so please don't give up just it's just it happens to the best of us it happens to everybody so you might go for so many dates but at the end of the day as much as like people always uh, bash tinder about being just a hookup site i have friends who've actually found their life partners on tinder so but you have to be prepared to actually just go from one day to another and just keep putting your best foot forward the other thing that i've also realized with online dating is that don't uh, ensure that your radius is quite small it's either maybe a five minutes ten minutes or max maybe 20 minutes drive i know sometimes girls do this if they're not finding cute guys or guys that they like within a small radius they start to expand their radius so 30 kilo 30 minutes drive or 40 seriously and then you complain about never meeting the guy because of at the first place they're gonna think of it as a chore who wants to drive for a freaking one hour for one date so just keep your radius short and keep looking and make sure your profile speaks a lot about you you have words that are short and yet very well detailed in regards to explaining your personality uh, the other thing and this is probably based on my second point whereby I say that you're going to kiss so many frogs there'll be so many bad dates is please don't make online dating your only primary source of dates because a lot of girls are like oh i don't have i hate all the time with my friends i have no time to go out i don't have time to go meet guys anywhere else so i'm solely relying on online dating and then you start to get desperate and i'm telling you guys can sense desperation from a mile away so just make sure that you out there go to the gym go for a walk go for nature join a book club just do other activities that you love and be open-minded to meeting people in those areas it's not that it has to be just online dating because i hear my friends they're single but they don't want to meet guys anywhere else it has to be online dating or when they go to work out they have their earphones on i think it's time we stopped wearing our earphones especially if you're single just be there be present make sure that if somebody is wants to make a conversation with you please speak back to them smile you can meet guys anywhere else and for example myself i actually met my husband i was on online dating but we didn't meet through our online site we actually met at uni 
okay so we went to the library and i was doing my thing and he said hi then we bumped into each other another day we went for a coffee then a coffee a dinner and five years down the line now we're married so be open to meeting guys everywhere the other thing and probably this is a one of the most important thing is guys please be safe we've all seen in the news people getting kidnapped people having really weird experiences even being you know killed or something of the sort so the number one rule that i tell everybody before you go for a date make sure to tell your friend make sure to tell somebody that you're close to don't keep it a secret everybody or place in this day and age everybody knows that people go for dates so make sure you share your uh, partners or wherever you're meeting their name their contact and their location okay so those things are so so important anytime you go for a date as much as this guy you've been talking to him for like ages you never know creeps have disguised into very good looking people so just make sure you're safe and i hope those tips are going to be helpful to you guys i am having so much fun with this uh, dating series if you haven't already make sure to watch uh, my previous video on dating in australia as a black woman dating in australia as a black man and i hope i can keep on answering your questions in regards to dating if you have anything that you'd like me to tackle make sure to leave a comment and i'll be so happy to do so so please don't forget to like share and subscribe and i hope you're keeping safe and bye for now thanks again bye